hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel right so quite few you have been asking an update to recoil compatibility spreadsheet and uh here obviously as everything else it is a mixture of my own personal opinion obviously and my thoughts on the matter but uh let me kind of like break it down for you how it works so we have several categories starting with champions that are significantly better if you are running recall masteries those are the champions that do not only get a damage increase but they also have some abilities that, that let them either regen or just you know ob function better in these fights and uh, those are at the very top then increased damage with hardly any downside are champions that typically are either double immune and do not have a playstyle that requires you to spam a ton of special attacks or have some sort of way to mitigate whatever recoil damage you would be taking and uh, obviously benefit from the increased damage. Champions that handle quite well are typically champs that um, either have one of the two immunities required or have a playstyle that doesn't require you to throw special attacks uh, at all or many or have some other abilities that can potentially let you shrug these masteries off like moon dragon for instance uh, or some regeneration abilities that you know let them function relatively well not ideal but decently enough like venom for instance in matchups where opponents have buffs you can regen with that so and so forth and then we have usable not preferred these are typically the champions that you can bring in a quest with recall masteries and you're going to be able to do like your three four fights you're not going to be able to clear an entire quest line with these champions running recalls in most cases unless they are very short fights you will end up losing you know a portion of your health pool in some cases these champions do have significant benefits but they just don't have any way to handle it in meaningfully longer fights for instance long shot benefits a ton with increased damage but he just doesn't work too well with them he's going to be super explosive for like two or three four fights maybe if you don't get hit at all but you're probably going to need like a secondary champ to finish the path in a quest and then barely usable are the champions typically who either have one or zero immunities and require you to spam special attacks like crazy uh shuri arguably can now be placed one tier higher to be honest i do think that shuri can go there because you can refresh everything with heavy attacks and i mean it, it, it's a bit tricky but yeah maybe sure you can live up there but uh most of these champions yeah you just really don't want to run recall masteries with in majority of the situations and then nobody cares group is somewhere around here additional disclaimers here that every single champion on this spreadsheet goes up a uh, one tier unless they are double immune because nick fury and deadpool synergy shrugs off one of the liquid courage double edge debuffs and gets you regeneration so if you're running nick fury plus deadpool synergy for instance a random champion like uh, kenny parker or a random champion like uh, i don't know vulture can do quite well they do definitely go up to handle quite well tier or in case of howard increased damage with hardly any downside so and so forth so if you have this nick fury plus deadpool synergy basically everybody goes up a tier gallon pre-fights let any cosmic move off two whole tiers because even the more unfriendly recall champions something like icarus or gamora basically take very very little damage from recall masteries once ramped up and in longer fights even can manage to heal up as long as you don't spam too many special attacks similar with tech and war machine because if you not double immune already you can get rid of that bleed or poison and definitely make yourself a lot more recall friendly and obviously the biggest improvement that potentially can be made is in mutant class because you have uh obviously apox pre-fights that make sure that any mutant doesn't take bleed damage so that's basically automated heal at the beginning of the fight turning any champion into corvus effectively and if you have professor x synergy set up with colossus then every champion is basically a healing god with those masteries as long as they're not double immune so in case of yeah colossus for instance if you have if you make him a horseman of apocalypse if you give him professor x uh synergy he's going to be significantly better with zero downsides because he's going to be healing the entire thing and going to have a ton of damage and obviously the rest of the benefits 
So that's the thought process there. So in science, the most compatible champions are Invisible Woman and Joe Fixit. Invisible Woman, because her force field eats up the recall damage and lets you heal periodically from it. So ultimately, in longer fights, you actually can net a ton of healing due to that. Joe Fixit, because he can regen based on damage dealt and is uh, poison immune. Shield class, we have Mole Man, who shrugs off those debuffs at the very beginning of the fight, but also gains two charges. So for like shorter fights, he does have a much quicker ramp up where it goes from you needing to throw two heavy attacks in order to enter Frenzy to you needing to throw one heavy attack. So he not only handles that aspect very well, but he also becomes much, much, much quicker. And given his damage delivery method, that damage output difference is absolutely huge. Karnak, again, just permanent regen, basically. He pretty much is a meh champion unless you're running recall. When you're running recall, he's amazing. Mutants have a lot of these. We have Omega Red, Namor, Kitty Pride, and Sauron, all of whom heal very well with recall masteries. Potentially could... No, nah, well, I'll leave Gambit there, but uh, these are definitely here. In tech class, we have Guardian, Ghost, and Lady Deathstrike. Lady Deathstrike is the only new addition that is at the highest tier because Recall Masteries actively do help her be more powerful. She not only heals from them throughout the entire fight, which is amazing, she also fuels her ability to regen back the damage from special attacks because the Nanomat regen Regenerator is more potent if you have Bleed or Poison active on you. That means that if you're running uh, Liquid Courage, you will actually net back more heal then you take from a special attack damage, so that can be a way to heal up with Lady Deathstrike then. Cosmic class, we have Hercules, Corvus Glaive, Angela, and Null. Mystic class, we have Black Widow and Diablo as the best of the best. Now, in Science class, I'm not going to go through uh, everything. Uh, here is Scorpion with an asterisk, and here is Scorpion with an asterisk here as well. I will actually move Scorpion with an asterisk to the top class, because I do think he does deserve to be there. And the reason for that is, obviously, it depends whether opponent's running willpower. Quite simple as that. If opponent is running willpower, then Scorpion is one of the best science champions with Recall Master is active because he's just going to get that permanent heal and he's going to finish fights with 100% vast majority of the time. So for Alliance War, for Battlegrounds, or in any matchups where opponent does have regeneration active, Scorpion's crazy good with Recall Masteries. But if that's not the case, he works because you can, you know, get rid of the poison with selecting by selecting shock or rupture pre-fight. He's not that great, I'd say. And uh, yeah, so here we can see the rest of the champions. We have like Black Cat that can shrug off the debuffs if you need, if need be. A Moon Dragon again, a champion that can shrug off those debuffs, and then you can just go to town. Obviously, massive damage increase, so they handle them decently well. Not perfect, decent. And yeah, the barely unusable tier here is champions that basically you just require you to special spam all the time. And uh, it can be rough. Gore is here as well with an asterisk because if you manage to be very aggressive, Gore can handle Rico Masteries actually quite well. In any more complex or slower fights, it's not great. And it will also mean that using Gore with Recall Masteries, you're probably going to end up playing at around 30 to 50% HP most of the time. But if you guys can check it out, I have a full Realm of Legends Gore uh, run with Recall Masteries, and he basically just, you know, maintains his health pool in between 30 to 60% health. Uh, so he can be quite effective with those Masteries if you are willing to accept that you're going to be playing at a lower base health. And also with the fact that you need to be super aggressive. One of the new champions that I placed here, uh, not too high also, is Adam Warlock. I mean, he handles them quite well. Um, because if you are willing to accept, again, that you're not going to be playing at a high health bar, you're going to be playing at like 50, 60, 70%, then he can offset that recall damage with his level 2s and with his pod. Because every time he enters the pod, if he's max sig, he does gain a relatively decent regeneration that helps you cope with the recall masteries. And uh, here we are. I think that's for the most part is all. You're obviously free to critique and suggest any changes to this spreadsheet. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, hopefully at least some of you do find this helpful. 
And if you guys do, then hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the good buttons. I will leave a link to this spreadsheet in the video description below. See you guys later. Bye bye. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about